major marijuana bust overnight in the Bronx. Police seizing millions of dollars worth of illegal products. And wait until you see where some of them were hidden. Eyewitness News reporter Phil Tate is live in Throgs Neck with the details for us. Phil? Yes, yeah, Charlene, good morning. We're told that this is one of the biggest busts that the NYPD and the New York City Sheriff's Office have seen in quite some time. If you're wondering what led up to this moment, well, both law enforcement agencies tell us that they were responding to quality of life issues. I want you all to take a look at the scene right now, and this is just one of the two storefront businesses that have been shut down, all a part of a multi-million dollar marijuana operation. Now, there's a heavy police presence right now with officers guarding the front of the door of this deli after they raided the two East Tremont businesses. Take a look at your screen as right now you're getting an inside look to the store as cannabis products were seized by investigators, including 176 pounds of cannabis flour, 0.6 pounds of THC vape products and edibles. Now listen to this. We're told products were stocked in every nook and cranny. The cannabis flower was found in hidden compartments, under a couch, covered by ceiling tiles, in filing cabinets, in luggage bags, and in plain view. Now, Mayor Adams was also here. He had toured the backroom storage area of the business with the New York City Sheriff officers. But this isn't the first time law enforcement has found these type of products at this type of store as opposed to a smoke shop. And take a look as one of the officers shows us what they found. These are all mushroom bars. Cereal, milk, white chocolate, birthday cake, different flavors. All of these products are unregulated, um, unlicensed. This location is unlicensed. They, they should not have any of this product here. This is probably the biggest uh, seizure that we've had in a, in a while. Now, right now, we're told that two of the store workers were arrested. The store owner was not present during the time of the raid. A live look outside as many of those officers are lining the door. But the big question this morning that investigators are trying to answer is where are these products? Where are they being packaged? Where are they being stored? And how are they also being distributed? We're in Throgs.